what's up y'all it's me i'm back definitely um as you can see i'm still rocking my natural hair um it's actually unstraightening them a little bit it's going back to its original texture so i kind of just put these two pigtails so i can still be cute but not have to add any tension or anything like that to my hair um if you know me then you know i'm a bunner so i love one bun so why not two so hit the subscribe button i need that action asap <laughs> i'm also bringing you guys a lovely bold lip i haven't really done matte in a while so i thought i'd give you guys this quick sultry beat if you can appreciate so we're gonna go ahead and get started but before we do i really hope you have joined the masterpiece gang gang i hope you're a part of my family i hope you're passing this on to your friends and your family so we could all be one big community one big family but if you haven't go ahead and press that subscribe button catch up on your tommy's take videos let's get acquainted um press like subscribe and definitely share coming in with this warm matte lip i've been on my gloss stuff but i had to come through with a little matte for y'all because y'all know i'm that girl i love my matte lip but the fragrance that i'm rocking today is three latrice patrice three latrice by doji and gabbana this is a good one guys um very fruity my husband enjoys this and um we're doing some hanging out later so you know i thought i'd oblige <laughs> anyway i'll link that down below too um where you guys can find it it smells really fresh really springy like i said he loves the scent i like the scent um he he loves it so um you know <laughs> got her on today so today what we're kind of going to get into is um makeup brushes some really good brushes some brushes i have in my collection and kind of what they're used for um a lot of us kind of wing it we kind of go with an experience some of us use about our hands some of us use um sponges we all use different things nothing is wrong whatever floats your boat whatever you're used to whatever you get the best finish or the best outcome with or you feel like whatever does your makeup the best justice i say go for it um so this is not to say put down what you're using and pick up what i'm saying it's just a suggestive video um or in a guide i like to do that i like to put people on i like to be put on so be sure to leave me informative stuff in the comments about some makeup applying tips or concealer applying tips application tips that you guys know because i'm more than interested and i'm always down for a bomb ass hack all right because i'm that chick and i'm a buck maybe a buck 50 you know i like to keep it real and then some some of these brushes are not clean because i just use some of them to beat my face and um we're gonna go through that too so first i want to start with what i would probably call like an all over brush or a powder brush and that's this brush this actually comes in a set of a few but right now i'm just showing this brush in particular um this brush is to be applied typically with powder products so this is good for your matte finish or um, it's a little big for blush. I kind of like to use this brush after I'm done highlighting and I set. I like to dust off with this brush under the eyes or in certain places and it's good for that. And I also, like I said, like to apply my um, powder products like my mineralized skin finishes or my setting powders. This brush here, this is also a good brush. This I've had this brush for forever. I think this is a Sedona lace brush. I don't know the number. I don't know any of that. As you can see, it's slightly tapered. So this is considered a tapered face brush or a tapered powder brush. So I like to use this brush all over too and to dust off for all the same things as the previous brush that I just showed you guys. It's just a different shape. So one would like to think that it has a different effect um i like this brush though it's very comfortable on the skin the hairs are very soft um that's what i look for i don't like too much shedding on my brushes so sedona lace has awesome brushes the last brush i just showed i don't know if i mentioned but that was a real techniques brush and they have awesome brushes i definitely like them but this would be considered a tapered or a tulipped all over face brush um she was originally white she's never gonna get her color back because makeup is just that way after so many applications 
it will stain your white hair products i don't care if they're made out of pony hair synthetic hair um it doesn't matter this is a mac brush um so i'll say this it doesn't really matter what brand you buy per se but it's just like anything else shoes your car um even your home um the amount of money you invest in it is what you're going to get out of it i've had this brush for so many years and my cleaning process for my brushes is pretty thorough so as long as you're on top of that kind of thing then i feel like your brush will give you um the longevity you know you can use it for the long haul so definitely invest in brushes if you can i know some awesome brush companies and i know some very inexpensive brush brands again i'll be linking all that stuff below but this is my mac whatever number brush <laughs> this is a blush brush some people like to use this shape brush and this size brush to normally contour or blush. But for me, this is a blush brush. I like this for the apples or the roses of my cheeks. Um, I'm a blush girl, as you can see. I love blush. I love warming up my face. So this gets hella use in my collection. I recommend, um, even if you're not into blush, even if you're into highlight, you know, the nice goldy stuff or contour, Get you a blush brush and see where it fits in and you won't regret it. Um, so this is that. <laughs> these are what I would like to consider foundation brushes. I would more so use these for liquid products. Me personally, that's what I would use them for just based on the density of these brushes. So I'm just kind of gonna go over them with you. So this is one of my e.l.f. foundation brushes and this is called a flat around top foundation brush. It's slightly round, as you can see, it apply, the hairs are intact. It's not spreading all over. It's pretty firm. So it's perfect for blending in and patting in that product for me. I just don't think it would give the flexibility if it needed to apply with a powder product. That's just my take. This is a flat top foundation brush. This really has no curve. As you can see, this is dense as well. You just apply a liquid base foundation or concealer product in, I love it. You see that? Um, this is a new one to my collection. I love this one. This one is by Becca Cosmetics. I actually grabbed one of these for myself and my sister-in-law. So I'm gonna send you one in the mail, Shaka. It's really nice. It's still very compact. It's easy to fit in your travel bag. Becca is an excellent brand. They have excellent, excellent products. So I kind of was like, you know what? Let me try it out. Yes, see that? a lot different check me out exactly okay guys so this is another from the real techniques collection um just like our big brush that we have here so they're from the same line as you can see i like these brushes they're very affordable easy to find very accessible so that's always a plus um when dealing with something um, so this is what I would call a highlighting brush. I like to use this on my cream or powder highlights, like my golden bronzy um, colors like I have here. And I just like to tap into the product, dust it off a little bit, because remember it's a powder product, so it should dust off. And then I like to gently just apply in these places. It fits so beautifully into the pocket of these places, just like that. And this is what I kind of like to use this tool for. Now, what I will use it for is my setting under eye, like my highlight powder, like your Benai powder, your banana powder, your Sonia Kashuk, your um, Laura Mercier, your uh, sponge powder, all those kind of things. Uh, my, my Marc Jacobs setting powder, all those kind of powders. After you've highlighted, you take that, kind of just hit it off like that. So I enjoy using this brush for that, or I'll use my beauty blender to apply, apply those powders as well. Then we're gonna go through that washing process as well. So you'll see me do a little bit of that. So I didn't include them, but I do use beauty blenders to set my concealer to highlight in the highlighted areas. And that's pretty much all I use my beauty blender for. Other than that, I'm using some of the brushes that I suggested to you earlier just to name a few now we're going to go into some eye tools um again you don't have to use these you might like using your fingers that's fine too i do a little bit of everything you know head shoulders knees and toes to get my job done so whatever you got to do girl 
do your thing just a little reminder so some of these are actually beat up too y'all because i'm not gonna lie i'm coming to y'all with the real deal i use these and some of these i've had for ages and i enjoy using them or i keep repurchasing them did he just do that <laughs> i just love them and nothing else there's no substitute nothing else has gotten the job done so uh, the first up is this this is a sonia classic brush that i got from target years ago you see old all type of everything child anything it started breaking on me I ended up squeezing it tight to hold it together because it went through so many washes. Everything has died on this brush but the bristles. But that's all I need though, right? That's all I need. This is like the ideal blender brush. I'm going to back her up because she's not that cute. She's like a uh, Monet. You know what I'm saying? She's not that cute. I'm going to back her up a little bit. So, um, you know, this is like the ideal blending brush. Like just to get in the pocket like i just love this it came with a set of two um i don't know where the other one is the other one is a little larger at the top and i like to use that for my highlight as well too um the other one not this one it's a little bit larger at the top than this one but this is a perfect eye blending brush and that's what i like to use it for to blend out my eyeshadows and it's a dual brush that's another reason why i love this brush and this is a pencil brush is what this is called you see how that looks again let me back her up don't be shady underneath my comments and screenshotting me and stuff let me back come on mona lisa come on i made monet whatever <laughs> this is a pencil brush and this is really good for when you want to get those spot of colors in the corner or if you want to do something like i do like i showed you guys and you want to use your bronzer or an eyeshadow as a liner and you just dip it in the product and you smudge the bottom of your eye i use it for that a lot or i use it for like these little accents of highlight that i have in my eyes it's really dope for that i really love this brush um i, I don't if i can find this again i need to buy me one i actually got this off of a set from amazon that i really enjoy um it's fluffy it's very fluffy so it has a lot of movement so that's why it's very good for blending because it's not particularly stiff so you can't really blend anything with something that's stiff right so yeah <laughs> i know me i talk with my hands <laughs> this is a really good one um this fits really good in the pocket and then i have another one very similar to it and this came in the set with the also the tulip brush as you can see these are both tulip this was our face brush and this one here is a tulip blending brush blending crease brush so it does the same exact thing but it has a bit of a different shape some of you may think this is all unnecessary they all are the same they have different shapes this is the mother this is the sister this is the little baby no but when you start doing your makeup for real for real like on your big girl shit you will know like you need your stuff even if it's not expensive you need to have the particulars seriously thank me later <laughs> So these are shader brushes. This is a pretty large shader brush. This came in the set with the blending brush that I showed earlier. Remember the Amazon set? Um, so we have this shader brush and then we just have this regular shader brush. These are normally used to shade your eyelids, to smudge at the bottom of your eyes if you like because they're normally pretty smooth. This is more of a stiff brush. This shader brush, I, me per se, I don't have huge eyelids. I don't have big eyes. I just, you know, I just wasn't blessed with those big, gorgeous bedroom eyes. But, so I don't really have a need for this brush per se on my eyelids, but I do use this brush to contour my nose. Check me out. Yes. That's like, yes, that's how I do her. To contour my nose with a little bit of my bronzer or my contour palette, powder. And this shader brush fits right in the pocket. It's perfect. I have a short, pudgy nose. A spoolie is something that you would normally potentially use to dip in your mascara. That is the traditional way to use it and to comb through your lashes. Or if you don't want to use it with any product, you can still comb through your lashes. Or it's used to sparse, blend, or brush the eyebrows. Today, we definitely use this to brush and blend our eyebrows. I like to use it right here in the front, especially to fade out my eyebrows so that they get that ombre look. So this is a spoolie. 
and it actually came in a set with the raggedy with the raggedy brush um along with the other one that i can't find um so they came in a set of three these are sonia kashik brushes i i got these from like target years ago it literally looks like a mascara wand these are also spoolies but what makes these so cool is again it doesn't matter where or how what brand just as long as you have what you need you definitely need a spoolie for your makeup looks um these spoolies are a bit different because they are dual they come on some of the brow products that i enjoy using as you can see so you can get a brow product with a spoolie on the end one of these is maybelline and one no i'm sorry one is elf and one is l'oreal um and they both come with spoolies so that's always a dope way to utilize something as well but if you're looking for a more permanent solution these aren't the best quality these aren't they, they work okay they're doable sometime like vacation they serve their purpose two things one thing they're not as gentle as i would like up on my face brushing up on my face that's me so i do like my official spoolies but these were good you know they definitely do the job if you won't regret it like i said you'll definitely thank me later just try it in your face routine and your makeup routine so here's what you'll need you're gonna grab your favorite brush cleanser or you can go the easy route and you can grab your favorite baby shampoo, that's right, baby shampoo, and put a few drops of an essential oil or facial oil in. So now we've got everything soaking, let it set no longer than 10 minutes. You're gonna wanna trust me on that. So now you wanna go ahead and just massage the brush, make sure you're getting all of that residue out. I like to rub it on the back of my hands and make sure there's nothing left and also to bring back the true form of the brush. This is just a larger brush. I'm showing you the same technique, but um, you kind of get the drift. No ma'am, no ma'am. No ma'am, I throw them away. I use brushes. <laughs>